All right, what's up everyone? Today we're gonna to talk about the Snatch Grip High Pull and why it is great for the upper back, traps, just that yoke area, along with your side delt. Some people saying it's great for traps, some people saying I was cheating with upright rows, and then there were some people saying, oh, it's a shoulder strainer, it's a sh shoulder injury waiting to happen, so on and so forth. Those people are idiots, the last group, okay? A Snatch Grip High Pull is basically the precursor to a snatch, so it's one of the lifts in Olympic weightlifting. However, I do it for traps, upper back, side delts, rear delts. I've never, ever gotten hurt from doing it. Actually, the one time I did hurt my shoulder was when these were not in my routine at all. And if you're doing them properly, you will not injure your shoulders. All you have to do is grip wider than you think. You don't have to go all the way to the collars. I suggest you start off with index finger on the rings. That is where I suggest you start. Then you can go a little bit wider. Then you want to put the bar in the crease or in the hip pocket. And then you wanna just go down a little bit, make sure you're loading up your hamstrings, but then you want to explosively basically jump with the bar while keeping it close to you. And as the bar goes up, you will also explosively shrug. So that's the first way that your traps are hit. Then you wanna kind of drop down and meet the bar. Cause if you've ever seen a full snatch, you'll notice the lifter dives underneath the bar to then support the bar overhead. But we're skipping that last part. You just want to almost halfway commit to diving underneath the bar. As the bar is coming back down, it's almost trying to yank the bar out of your hands and rip your arms out of your shoulder sockets. Why does this not happen? Because your traps have to support the load. And that is the second way the traps are hit. So not only do they get hit with an explosive shrug, they also get hit with a super, super hard contraction that they need to absorb. That's why this exercise is so effective. It's not something you want to use time under tension. It is not a bodybuilding exercise and it is not an upright row. It is 100% superior to an upright row. You don't want to be shrugging it up to your belly button. You want to be aiming for your sternum or nipple level. Now, because I have done these a while, I can pretty much do them until my chin. Do I try and get my heaviest weights up there? No. What I want you to do is think of this. Hips, lock out your knees, toes, as you're going up, shrug at the same time, and then pull up, 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 and then at the, at the very top of the movement, you're pulling slightly backward. This activates the rear delts, the mid back, it gets some more side delts in there, but at the most important part, it really hits those traps. So people can delt this exercise all they want. They can call it a shoulder injury waiting to happen. Those people probably still live in their mom's basement. So if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And as always, class is dismissed.